Welcome back. The War on Wealth. 2020 Democratic candidate Elizabeth Warren's economic plan proposes the following. A 2% annual tax on household wealth, over $50 million. A green manufacturing plan that she says will create more than 1 million jobs. Increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Uh, and, of course, Medicare for All. My next guest wrote a new book titled Elizabeth Warren, How Her Presidency Would Destroy the Middle Class and the American Dream. Joining us right now is the Bonson Group Chief Investment Officer, Managing Partner and Author, David Bonson. David, it's great to have you. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to be with this you, Maria. This is an easy read. Tell us what's in the book and why you think that her policies will destroy the American economy. I, I tried to do two things with the book. I tried to go through policy by policy with as uh, fair and sober of an analysis as possible. Possible. It ended up being a lot more research intensive than I thought because the, she actually does have a plan for that. Other than how she was going to pay for Medicare for All, there were 55 white papers on her website. So you had to really unpack some of the things she'd say about natural gas production and uh, that student loan forgiveness. There was, uh, so I kind of unpacked all that. But then I wanted to offer my sort of almost social commentary on where I think she wants to take the nation and the, the implications for telling an entire society of people that they're victims. Victims of, of other wealthy, successful people. There's a, a lot that needed to be unpacked, and uh, that's what we did. Now, uh, as you mentioned, she talks a lot about going after the wealthy, successful people. She says two cent uh, tax on the net worth of billionaires. It's actually six cents a year. But, but can you tell us what are the taxes that are going to impact people who aren't billionaires? Because I think that's kind of gotten lost in the in the chatter a little bit. Well, first of all, even the wealth tax, it, she starts at a 50 million. And I'm not suggesting 50 million is not a lot of money, but you know, it's 950 million away from a billionaire, okay? Right. So, yeah. so, and what do you think the odds are it stays at 50 million? That tax will come down to 5 million in about three years. But um, it is the, so the employment taxes that she wants to put on, on businesses at $250,000 of income, having this additional self-employment tax. So then she gets to say, I'm not raising marginal tax rates. It isn't in our normal ordinary income rates, and yet there's the effect of doing that that applies to an awful lot of income groups. I want to add sort of on the wealth tax. If you have a wealth tax, people will shift their money out of stocks and they'll put it into uh, assets like art or yep. real estate. But when you take money out of the equity market, that will put downward pressure on the prices of equities. Yeah, but and it turns out there's 100 million Americans that have 401k plans. Just to be plans. clear, though, she's going to tally up what your art is worth as well. I mean, you know, yeah, it's all show, your wealth. Yeah. And, so, and so how do you think. do that? How yeah. do you value how do you do the art? Well, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. can figure it out, but she's yeah. going to put a tax on it. That's right. Yeah. And so so I would say it's, there's two big problems. One is it incentivizes CEOs to, down, to talk their stock down at the mm -hmm. end of every year. They're going to get a big tax bill. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's all kinds of inefficiencies and distortions it represents. Mm -hmm. But you, we're talking about publicly held stocks that at least you can make a market in. You have a value. What about the family-owned chain of car washes mm -hmm. and, and, and illiquid LLCs that are difficult to value and don't necessarily have the liquidity to pay the tax year by year? That's why France got rid of it. Yeah. That's why Sweden got rid of it. By the it. way, are Bernie Sanders' plans much different? Um, they, well, her, his starts at 32 million, her oh. starts at 50 million. Okay. But no, more or less, they're not very different, particularly that, that student loan forgiveness. They're David, it's good to have you. Yeah, thank you I so think, much. Yeah. It's an important book. Check it out. Elizabeth Warren, uh, David Bonson, thank you. We'll be right back.